football we go in the Allen Deerf rivalry has lost much of its luster and now usually means the end of the season for both teams hopelessly out of the playoff contention. This past Saturday's edition featured a lopsided win by the Huskies, but the game also marked a special milestone from the Deerf football program. Tom Mykrantz has that story. The Allen Deerf gridiron rivalry began 50 years ago when Deerf first opened on the city's east side. To commemorate the golden anniversary of Husky football, more than 150 former Deerf players, cheerleaders, and band members reunited Saturday at J. Bernie Crumb Stadium for the Intra City game. All were invited to take part in a halftime ceremony. Mike Marks was among five former coaches waxing nostalgia. When you saw people that you hadn't seen in uh, 20 years, 15 years, walk in it just gave you chills and and the stories that were told there can only be told at a place like that at a reunion a gathering like that Bruce Trotter coach of the 79 undefeated team Ted Steiner Larry Lewis and Jeff Hannis were the other coaches on hand while the most notable ex player former Buffalo Bill Andre Reed was not there some others who played professional football were Mark McCants played for the USFL, Philadelphia Stars. It's a great tradition. It's something that, you know, seeing a lot of these guys uh, really brings back some great memories, hard work, a lot of effort, and uh, camaraderie. Another former USFLer, Georgia Tia, who was all SEC at LSU, never forgot what Husky Pride means. They get you playing beyond who you really are. And that's the thing about Husky Pride is that when you can play and, and play better than what you really are, and then, God willing, you get to another level, but it's just great to have all these great mentors to take you to another level. Just a pride in just giving, giving it your all, and that's something that we did. We gave it our all. We didn't win all the time, but we, you know, we gave it our best. Just hard work. Among those in attendance Saturday were five members of the very first year of football team. Those guys won two games, but did lose seven. That fivesome, Richard Taylor, Don Tretter, Rudy Ziegler, Bill Gockler, and Tom Turzen were put in a unique situation. The whole thing was brand new, but the, the problem was is that we had so many friends still at Allen uh, that had we been together, I think we had a good team, right, Bill? Undefeated, but um, they broke us up and we had to play against our buddies, so it was a great experience being first at everything. It was very interesting. Uh, it was a new experience for all of us, spending two years at Allen and eventually coming over to Deerhoff and being as part of history, really. As for the game, Deerf went on to register the most one-sided victory in the 50-year history of the series, 53 to nothing. Allen hasn't won a game since a win over Deerf in 2006. The Huskies won two games for the first time since 2004. Neither team has had a winning season for years, and the game no longer enjoys the buildup and prestige of being played Thanksgiving Day. Atia hates to see both programs languish in futility. It's just a matter of turning it around. Uh, there's no question that the athletes still live in Allentown uh, and there are great coaches so I think it's chemistry but I think once the chemistry comes together that this area you know of Allentown will have uh, some great great performances in, in, in days to come. More than 250 alumni enjoyed tailgating prior to the 2 p.m. kickoff. Many made plans to meet afterwards in groups at various watering holes and restaurants to continue the day-long celebration. Tom Mykrantz, Two Sports. Yes. <laughs>